Here's another story that the mainstream media has been absolutely dead silent on, despite the fact that it is very important. Five racially motivated violent extremists from the Atomwaffen division have been arrested. It's a neo-Nazi group and its current leader have been arrested by the FBI, according to documents that were released by the Justice Department last Wednesday. Now, of the four charged of the U.S. District Court in Seattle for allegedly sending racist and anti-Semitic threats to journalists and activists in the country, and a fifth was charged in Virginia for alleged participation in a swatting campaign. Now, I assume that swatting where they falsely call the police and say that something's happening so that the actual police bust in and they find that nothing is there and they cause all kinds of hell for the, the person is that they're trying to make life difficult for. Now, it should be noted that this neo-Nazi group has been linked to at least five deaths in the United States. Now, just this one group. So they are a real problem. It's not like this is some kind of internet click or something. These guys are a real organization. They are Cameron Brandon Shea, 24, from Redmond, Washington. Taylor Ashley Parker Diep, 20, from Spring Hill, Florida. Johnny Roman Garza, 20, of Queens Creek, Arizona, and Caleb Cole, 24, of Montgomery, Texas. Now, Cole is the current leader of the racist group, and he's also wanted by local authorities on an issue, a warrant, uh, and who issued a warrant for his arrest on charges of violating an order for possessing firearms of an extreme protection, extreme risk protection order, meaning we acknowledge you to be extremist and you're not allowed to own firearms kind of thing. Now, the report included examples of posters that the Adam Waffen residents sent to Seattle metropolitan area that contained frightening imagery and language. Obviously, due to the very racist nature of these, I can't show these on YouTube without them getting shut down, but I assume you could probably find them on the first page of a Google search. And one shows a man in a suit with a small army of figures behind him wearing siege masks and holding AR-style rifles. Two can play at this game, the poster reads. These people have names and addresses. All posters contain a line at the bottom saying, you have been visited by your local Nazis. Now, the prosecutors are in Washington are saying that a local TV journalist, two individuals associated with the Anti-Defamation League, and two journalists in Phoenix and Tampa were among those targeted by the protesters. Now, this is very serious. I mean, this is terrorism in a very real sense, yet it is being completely overlooked by the mainstream media who have decided not to report this at all. You might be able to find a little blurb somewhere mentioning this, but other than that, it's going completely ignored. And this is uh, something that's very serious, that you have to go to a, a, a media organization such as Vice to even find an article on it. And there's a, a lot to be criticized of Vice in general. So th this shows that the uh, fascist violence in the U.S. is still a problem. The fascist terrorism in the country is still a problem. And that is something that's... Uh, being largely overlooked. Instead, uh, the powers that be, uh, the capitalist elite, are looking more at people who are going around committing random shootings or someone, people who have mental illness just snap and then end up doing the shooting. But the organized, the coordinated acts of terrorism or terrorist groups inside the U.S., uh, which are not politically useful to them, meaning they can't use it to push a particular viewpoint or what have you, are the ones that are going largely ignored. And it's about time the mainstream media finally did start covering this very important issue. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.